Hey everyone, welcome back to Indicted TV. I am your host, Negra. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. Before we start, I gotta give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Royalty Honey. Shout out to you always. On today's episode, we have Doughboy909. Welcome to Indicted TV. Thank you for having me. Of course, about that time. For yeah, me. it was. <laughs> Real talk. Well, my welcome dog. to Indicted TV. Thank you for coming. I'm glad to be here. Let's start. Tell me where you grew up, where you're from. How was the inside of your house, brothers, sisters, mom? I grew up in San Bernardino, projects, uh, mountain apartments. Uh, I lived like about four different sp spots in San Bernardino, maybe even a couple more, but from what I can remember, like four main spots. I lived in for a amount of time. Um, east side and west side. House was grimy, four kids, living room, one room, dad and mom in the room. Feel me? So it was just like that, like some real Dino setting. Yeah. You know, real poor, real, like, straight up. Like, I'm not, my brother's right here. That one right there, he know he's been right from the, the gate. You know what I'm saying? So. Did you go, did you finish uh, elementary and junior high? I finished junior high. Um, my ninth grade year, I was already getting in trouble. That's when I went to, uh, I went to the halls my first time. What did you go to the halls for the first time? Stealing. I think I got caught stealing at Ross, like, shoes, like, something stupid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, like, stealing shoes. Um, did you actually get got, um, arrested, arrested? I actually got arrested and too, man, because I was on probation already. What did you go to? What were you I, on probation for? I, I was on probation for breaking into houses. Oh. Yeah, we were, we were licking houses, so, me and my one of my close uh, best friends. Were you always like a travieso? Yes. Ever since you could yep. remember since you were young? Since I was young, yep. Um, so anyways, yeah, we would, go to the, we would go to the north end of... Okay. Uh, tell me how how you used to break into houses like but how old were you first like 14 okay so you're already a teenager 14 15 okay 13 14 15 around there tell me how you used to break into houses so me and my boy johnny we would walk through we'd be on uh, we'd be off some uh we were fucking around at the time i went through my little phase of fucking with the dope we we're on sick ones going through h street h and dope 30th. you mean crack or do you mean meth crystal we were doing crystal for a little bit at that young <laughs> age. No, seriously. Yeah, you're gonna be a I went, food. No, I'm gonna be real. I did. Look at people don't know this, but I went I've done every drug. Like I've done crystal. I've done crack. I smoked crack. I had a crack addiction too. Like not even funny about it. No, I get it. I, I had a PCP addiction. I was on a sick one. People know me in the Dino. Like I've been out there on my shit. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah, Straight I up. I was on drugs. Like a regular understand. in the streets. I did my shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was on drugs. I went through phases. I don't do none of that shit no more. I've been clean over 10, 15 years. Um, but long story short, I was lost. I was a kid. Me and the homie would be rolling around 30th H. Specifically, we we're going through the. He would go to the windows. We actually, we actually got charged. My first one for residential uh, robbery. It wasn't residential burglary because the people were in the house, but it wasn't home invasion because the people were asleep. We got charged for that crime our first ah. time, yes. And they that was my one of my last times, actually. I'm tripping. That was one of my last times because I went to the halls like seven times. I was in regional. I, I went to YJCU Justice Center. Everybody from the hood, Colton, everybody in my area knows me from right there. I went for three years of YJC. Uh, what is YJC? You Justice Center is ran by the probation department. Uh, so I was there at 14 so it, with all the fools that were 17, 18, it like a gang youth of homies from the hood. And, is it like a youth authority type of thing? No, but I did end up going to, so from this case, um, they put me up for, uh, I had already had been to a, a group home once, which was on the juvenile hall campus. So they were trying to send me to a um, youth authority at this time, and they gave me that last chance. They sent me to... A, a, a placement in San Diego called Hatfield House. Okay. And I went there and I stood there for a year. I got out. I was about to be, um, I, I got out. I was, I think I was about 17. And then I was out and that's when we were licking houses again. This time we stole a car. We got on a high speed chase. Um, I don't know if you remember about that story, Sue. We're going down Highland. We hit another car in the stolen car. We stole somebody's car. We went in their house, took their keys. We Took the car like it was crazy. The last one of the last one time when we were licking, the fucking dad woke up. We ran in the in the garage on some real shit. People don't know, dope boy. I've been came from the struggle. You know what I'm saying? I don't just how, say this. Shit. How like, many times real. you said you went to juvenile hall about like seven times? Yeah, right? bro, seven were times. Were all these times every single time you went were these violations or different cases? They were like violations. Okay. They weren't cases. They're they were, all violations. Just, just because just you violating. Were home, you weren't doing what you were supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, not going to like school. That. Having shit so. You know, when I went back as an adult um, to prison and I got out, I seen this, I went to the pro office and this juvenile probation officer that knew me when I was a kid. She goes, I felt so bad for you kids, man, because they were putting you guys in, because we were, back then in the, on Gilbert Street, it was one man's cells, bro. There wasn't no cellies. I opened up West Valley Juvenile Hall. 
when Rice Valley j opened up, I was shot up with the little homie Limps from um from he was a he was a Black Angel, the little homie Michael Caldera. That was my Shelly. That's my boy right there. And yup, he yep, he was in there for hot ones. People know him if you know. I did time. I had Shellys that were real. You know what I'm saying? Well, People you, don't know all that because I don't brag about it. Well, it you're ain't, not supposed to. You I'm know? A so I don't got to do that. You of know what I'm saying? Straight up. I don't so got to do that. let me ask you, when all those years that you were in and out of Juvenile Hall, um, what was like the worst thing you experienced? Nothing. Just uh, for, like, what's the worst? Like fight? But it wasn't a worst bad experience. It was like, you weren't like, you wanted to fight. I was always tripping on fools. Yeah, I was in the tent. I was waiting for food. placement. I was an active motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't like a carmado. I was one of the fools always set tripping. Okay. Like straight up. I was yeah. active. You know what I'm saying? I was really active. My first, going into my soul. Long story short, I'm gonna go back to Hatfield House. I get out of Hatfield House. Okay. I'm fucking about 17 years old. Um, I get out. Everybody's like, "Oh my, you know, my he's Mikey's back. He's out. He's out. You know how it is when you get yeah. out. You with the checking in right there in the city, going to the park, Paris Park, chilling, smoking, doing the same dumb." Like, yeah, trying it, to steal shit and rob fools at night. If anything, I you were like even shit. more pumped up. Uh huh. It was even worse. Yeah. It exactly. made me worse. Exactly. So, anyways, let me calm the fuck down a little bit. Hey, because <laughs> it gets me, it <laughs> brings me back. Too pumped. You remember, you taking me back some years, so it's like, no, hey, it's bro, okay. you opening up doors. I want to. We I'm calm. Know. I'm gonna be real with you. If you know me from my city, you happy I'm fucking rich now and I'm good now because yes. I'm out your fucking way. You feel yes, me? Yes. If I wasn't, trust me, I'd be right there doing my still. Of course. Driving around with the homies, looking for fuckers to get. Uh huh. Tripping, like yes. you're looking for any reason to take your shit. Yes. So, but like back to all that shit. I got out the Hatfield House and um, Hatfield House. Are you able to wear your own clothes? Yes, it was a placement, a real group home. What, did your was your family there for you? Yes, my mom would go visit me on Sundays. Oh nice. My mom always visited me since juvenile hall day one when I was fourteen. She was bringing me the brown bags. With Boom! The, I'd open with up your the toys hygiene? with my hygiene, all that. Well, she had to tell me. We're kind of the same age. So hours. Yeah. we did go like we were doing shit kind of at the same time. Yeah. So I do remember the brown bag with yeah, your mom bringing your hygiene. Yes, I remember so that too. I Doing that when my mom, boom, she would come. And anyways, I ended up going, getting in trouble after I got out of the, I mean, uh, out, out of Hatfield House. And then that time, they sent me to Norwalk, which is a youth authority reception. Yes. With a, my number was CO228. It was a court number because they were still validating me uh, where they, you're supposed to only go for six months. And they bring you back to court and they say, okay, we're going to give you seven years. You're actually, you go and talk to the counselors there. I was there with the grown. Yes, I was right there on Bloomfield Road. It's hey. shut down. That that authority shut down. Yeah, now. I know. I was the there. Norwalk. I remember it. And I was locked up with the homie Ghost, Old Tom from the hood, a gang of homies. Fools so know me from the system. When, like when you got yeah. there to the Norwalk. Let me hit that. <laughs> when you got to the Norwalk, obviously, like you're going to this place you've never been to. You obviously been. It was way different. I was like, damn, this prison for kids. Yeah, tell me about it. Like I was how getting it my looked. haircut by an older homie from Chino. Uh, 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 I was getting. A, yeah, I was. It was just a different... Uh, Did you have I, to fight way I more? I was in a... Where was I in? What fucking unit was I in right there? It was for like the kids. Like, cause I was, yeah, it was for like the... We were all younger, but the adults were like cut our hair. They served us our food, all that shit. We the adult inmates. It was a lot of lockdown right there. It was a lot of lockdown, but there was a program. You walked to where you had to go. You'd get called and see your counselor like once a month. And they were evaluating you. Yeah, That's what yeah. it was called. The evaluation. Authority, evaluation. I was supposed to go right back. So my mom and dad were driving out there to see me with my older brother. They would go and then they would buy me shit at the vending machines. That's when they changed the vending machines. Mm. And I was doing all that shit. And you know what I'm saying? Bloomfield. That was that. And I was there for about, I ended up being there for like 14, 15 months. And you were just supposed Almost to be there for six months. I was there. Yes. I was only supposed to go for evaluation. And I turned 18 in there. And on my, uh, a week after I turned 18, um, I got released, and I got released from there. Ah. And um, I was out. I was out for three months, and then I caught my first prison term which with is, my best friend, my boy Johnny Boy. Which is what? Which was a two eleven, which was a robbery. Oh. That's when I yeah I was really mugging. So I boom really did my mugging. shit. Uh, you know we're, that's how it is in you know, There ain't no other way to live you unless get, you're robbing Ross or Walmart you, or whatever. How did you get caught on your big case? Um, because somebody followed us from Stater Brothers. We hit some. We licked somebody at Stater Brothers, and they followed us. A lady or something. Like, dumb ass. You know what, dumb. Yeah, you're not You're thinking. not there, yeah. You're not now thinking. I think, like, how retarded was I, you know? <laughs> you're a stupid dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I had a long life of crime. I'm blessed to be where I'm at. And, yeah, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's... it's but it, tell me I'm, more about your uh, your first time. Okay, so you're 18. You get this case. You I, go fight to, in, you I go to West Valley. I fight it in West Valley for almost but, two 
years. Well, you go to West Valley, but you've never been to West Valley because never. you were a kid. Because so I was a now kid. It's and a, Johnny, he went to CDC. So now it's a different program for you. Yeah, way so different. You, so you get there. That's when you learn the politics. That's everything, when everything looks changed. different. Everything looks different because, for you. Know, you. You know, how yeah. how hard was it for you to adjust? Because Easy, you're a little fucking wild then. A lot of these fools, I was like, these are fools I knew since the halls. And I, I was like, you are still in here? I'm like, damn, no. You said Seriously, still like you were the in there. It's the same scene. It's the same scene in the system. You just I know a lot of from everywhere, like every everywhere, you know what I'm saying? You just have to change your behavior when yeah. you get to the county. Yeah, you just more mature, more like, you know, make, make you more into a man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you you know, went there, stood there, fought that case. You say you fought it for two years. How, how were those and, two years for you? Um, They were... Long, long, uh, really I long. was still cause, like a kid to my mom, you know, you might think I just got out of there. I go there. I find in the case three months after I turned 18. So, uh, my mom was still like taking care of me all involved in my life. You know, I still didn't even have a lady, you know, I was I about was, to ask you, did you I have any pen pals? No, no, no. So what happened was I ran <laughs> into face. this, I ran into this girl that, you know, I ran into her uncle and then he goes, that's right. How I got hooked over. Cause ah, I busted that first term. Okay, he goes, so Hey, you know, my you niece, were 18. Yes. Cause I knew her from when I was 15 in high school. So now I'm 18, I'm fighting the case, and I run into this fool, Jack Valdez, a lot of fools from the hood know him too out there, and, and that fool was like, hey, you remember my niece? And I was like, okay, yeah, what's up with her? How's she doing? Woo -woo. And, yes, and then I asked him, get me a visit with her. That's how it happened. And she and, pulled up? And she pulled up with her with his lady, her aunt. Uh. And the moment's a wrap. But back to that, that's a whole other story. But anyways... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm just saying, cause you know, <laughs> hey, hey gangsta, see, you ain't gonna get nowhere else but indicted. <laughs> Real talk, you're not. Nobody ever heard that one. But go ahead. So you're you're there. You uh, you're getting your. So you start you start getting your visits. You're yep. you know everything's going like. Well, I'm been. I'm fighting the case. The homies are still looking out for me. Everybody's taking care of me. How long did you end up doing for this case? I ended up doing um, what like uh, like what. Uh, four years and some change. Four and my years. best friend did the whole five straight. Four we years. We both got out as men. The same boy I kept getting locked up with. And I met him in the halls. I met him in juvenile hey, hall. I met, I met Johnny on Gilbert Street, fool. Sometimes that was a just... salad. That was a, I was a floater. And you know how the floaters, the kids that had been out with uh, high boys, uh -huh. we would sleep on the floor. Uh -huh. And we would go, you remember when they would go to a day room, we would go in their uh -huh. cells. Uh -huh. And yeah, and that fool, and that was, that's how I met him. I got into him over and some he's shit. Your, and he's your buddy, oh, best no, no, buddy he now. He was a floater. He wrote in my cell and I tripped. That's the true story. I was like, hey, fool, you wrote him my shit. I was all, you know. What did you tell him or what? Yeah, <laughs> I was bad. I was like, hey, fool, you wrote him my you know, like with the carrots, the screens in the juvenile hall. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was like, hey, fool, and I was all mad tripping. Uh, because he banged on your fucking, on and your. And then we ended up being friends. I ended up being my closest friend to this day. He's a good homie. You oh, know? Well, that's, you know, sometimes I feel <laughs> like in there you meet really, really good friends. I have really yeah. good friends that I've met huh. being car incarcerated that, you ha you grow this bond with them that you don't have, you don't you can't have the bond with the people out here because it's a whole, you feel different completely different you're like not the same person that you're in when you go in there when you're in there you're not the same person yeah. I don't know what well, anybody says you're, you're, like as out soon here, as you I'm step happy I'm full of life and there I'm dead I'm fucking mad I'm, well, okay well no I never I, like, yeah. no I was never like that. I wasn't oh, dead. I wasn't mad. I wasn't hateful at all. I'm I, mad, like fuck. <laughs> I was the best. Tripping. I feel like for me that was like the best part of my life. Not the best part of my life, but how I got to know who I am. Yeah. Got to know me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't as fucking. Uh, you got to know yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get sentenced to. How, what did you get sentenced to though? Five years were eighty, and I signed for a strike. Oh, so you have a strike. Yeah, we both took uh, that, and uh, we both took a strike, and yeah. And where did you, how long after you were sentenced? I went to Calipatria State Prison. I had high points. So those whole little, like, year and a half that I was in West Valley, I ran up a gang of points. By the time I hit reception, I went to Tehachapi. How did I, you run up those points? Smashing. I, I popped off, uh, I popped it off, like, no 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 cap, like, about seven times in West Valley. So, like, riots. So I popped it off, like, seven times. Tell the me homie from Montero, my b he knows who he is. Unit 7, he was the keys. I for a long time. You okay, so tell me about how you felt when you walked into West Valley. You're 18 years old and I felt like, oh, I made it. I wasn't like, fuck it. Yo, that's one of the things like, you know, bad little like, oh, like, it wasn't nothing. Honestly, that time it was, was nothing that, to you. It was the second prison term and the third term. I was like, I'm done with this. Okay. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Okay. That's when I thought something, okay. to be honest with you. So basically, you just didn't feel, you were just going with the I program. I went with the you program. I was still young. I didn't have shit. Now, when I got out that time doing that prison term, now I'm a grown man. I'm 22 years old. Wait, wait. What did, let's, let, let's, you're going way too far. Let's okay. go back. So you get to 
uh, Calipatria State Prison. You get there. Actually, I went to Tehachapi. I got on um, boom, and I remember when they wrote uh, the CA on my shin. The homies were like, "Hey, fool, it's rocking and roll." Everybody in the reception like, "It's rocking and rolling over there, fool. You're going to Calipat." I was like, "Run that shit, let's go." Yeah. But. So when you got on the bus going there, long ass ride. Like what, what, 12 what, hours, 13 hours. What, just like what this was everybody only... talking about? Where was everybody like feeling? What were you feeling when the because obviously the shit, gates open? You know, don't no, no, no real motherfuckers don't give a probably the other foods, but foods ain't ready that. But you know, we hard asses anyways. Like we like we see who want it, you know. When I get there, my shit is deep as fuck in the system, so I'm I'm loved either way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might have enemies and run it real quick, but it ain't like it wasn't nothing major. Yeah, and there to tell you the truth, all my enemies I run into were friends. Swear to God. <laughs> I know, I believe Leonard, it. what's up, fool? Uh, you know, all right, cool, cool. All right, no, cool. I believe it. You know, so I me, ran it with homies, though. You know what I'm saying? What, I, was I, the, <laughs> what was the worst thing you saw in your first term? Um, I didn't, that first term, when I, so check it out. When I got to Calipat, it was total lockdown. It was slammed down because there was a homie from Florencia. He was 90 days from the pad. He got shot in the head uh, by the, the, um, the, um. Guards. The guard in the, in, um. Tower. In the tower, the tower guard. He shot his ass in the back of the head. He was getting searched, I guess. <gasps> and, uh, yeah, it was in... He pulled back in the f***ing contract album, and they f the tower guard shot him. You know, my, the, from what my Sally tells me when I got there, it's total lockdown. No program, no store, no... So I'm over here happy I'm finally hitting the main line to order a TV. Get all my shit together. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to order everything. I'm, my mom is taking care of me. I'm going to get everything. I'm good. Well, you were super blessed, though. Right? So, and a boom, and then I f***ing... Um, I get there, total slam down. And it's like that for like the first two years. Well, you had a it. It was bad. Hey, maybe then things we, happen for a reason. Yeah. You guys have gotten maybe way more so time. I was in C three and in, I was in C three reception, Calipatra. Then I went to C four. I was in C four the whole time I was there with a lot of good homies too from the hood. C four is like the yard. Boxer was there for like fourteen. He's from the hood. A lot of homies probably don't even know who he is, but he's been there a long ass time. Uh, the homie, uh, another homie right there too. There's a couple gang of homies right there. But I still right there. So I live in 23 hour lockdown. So I did that shit. You know what I'm saying? Were the guards always okay with you? Nope. They didn't. Hell no. There was no relationship with the guards. Like it was on site with the guards at that time. Oh, that because, was crazy. Oh, oh so, no, no. That's right? part of the thing. So I get there, it slammed down, and it's on site with the guards. My Sally tells me, he goes, hey, he goes, um, it's on site with these fools. If you get it, all right, cool. Yes. So I was oh, like, I'm maxing out my, 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 my time for sure. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you're saying, let's just say, okay, this is an example. Let's just say, uh, they have to get you out of your cell. Yeah. As if they get you out of your cell, you have to take off on them. Yep, mandatory. And they, but they, you, they were so honest. You got to, your cellie got to kneel down, boom, hands on your back, uh, or hands on your head, and then he'll let one of you guys will put your hands to the shit. He cuffs you, then boom, the other one goes step in with the door closed. You uh, get what I'm saying? So they, so they were really. Be moving at the same time when that even that little door is open, then then you move. Yeah. Oh so, wow, that's 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 pretty intense. And if everybody knows how Calipat is, it's little holes. The doors are like this, all the little holes. It's like a script. Cause I've been a bunch of them. I've been a Chino too. I've been in different prisons, so I know all the, all the layouts too. Ah. So been in Wasco, to Hatchapi. I've been in Calipat. I've been in Ironwood. You know what I'm saying? I've been a, been. A, well, I've we're been gonna in get the, to every prison. So I don't really want to do so, all that, but we could. But we could. But we could definitely. <laughs> It's a lot. It's a lot. That's why, you know, it's a lot of my life. I barely started being free three years ago. You know? Yeah, so, so why don't we focus on the future? Not just by good you. Because this is not the future. This is I'll the past. You. I'll fuck <laughs> you. Nah, but no, 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 no. But real shit though, you know, so. So you were able yeah, right, to, boom. you were able to get the feel of being, having, being free. So I got, it was crazy when I first got out. I swear to God. So this fool Jack, you know, so remember, I was busted with a member. Um, her uncle, I was busting with him in yes. the county, so that was four years ago. So now you so I get out, he does a Super Bowl thing. I think it was the Steelers are playing. He goes, Hey, come over here. He goes, I'm doing a thing. He don't even tell me what's going on. I'm not even hooked up. Yeah. I put, that fool literally wanted, like, he hooked me up like that. Like, want to make sure you're going to end up with my. And he's like, Some shit like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to push pick up dope from him. It was crazy. He would bang me up little quarter ounce stores, the rest of it on the refrigerator, on the top. Yeah, he was like my, my, the, when I was young, barely starting to push. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. yeah, it was crazy. So. Um, so you get caught two I'm years out after. For a year and a, I'm out for a year and a half, and then I got get, get caught for sales, methamphetamine. I was dope. Oh, Boom, that I was went, more, right? Yes. Uh, what do you mean? More time. No, no, that was way less time, and it was half time. Oh, sh And it was half time. So, yep, that was four with half, um, and I didn't get my strike. Didn't, uh, they didn't, it didn't trip. They where struck did, the strike. Where did you go they for your... That. I got, so I took the time. and um, You ended up where? And um, that time I ended up in Ironwood, B-Yard, 
Went to Ironwood, B-yard, did another uh, turn right there. Stood there, then fucking, um, and, but it, then I got out, paroled from there, and then and I was out for like six, seven years, and then that's when I caught my last turn. Oh. I was out the system almost You were seven out years. for seven years. I was already done. I was already cool, and then I got, they they hit a spot, for, and I got charged for growing. Growing, uh, and I was dope again. How looking, did that go? The, like, that what? was a bigger case. That time I was looking at a lot of time. I hired this guy named Kirk Tarman, best lawyer right here in Rancho Cucamonga, gave him 10 racks, and uh, I ended up getting a, uh, a really low sentence. Getting my a lot of shit picked up because the cops shouldn't have been at my house in the first place. So I wasn't on probation or nothing, man. I was out the system. Yeah, so you were seven years. So he chipped on him because um, they were. They so, you didn't go, so you didn't go back to prison after I went that? Back to prison. Oh, did then, you? Yeah, that that time I went back to prison. Um, Where did you go? I went back to Ironwood, same yard, everything. Went was it the f what is, was it the same for you? Yeah, same shit. But for you, and it was less time, so it kind of went by quick this time. And then um, when I got out, I just, I just you know, kind of just I had been moving different ever since. It finally hit me, you know. It took that minute that long. I said, I'm not gonna sell dope no more. I'm good. I'm not selling dope. Because that was my problem. I sold dope for 12 years, you know? Yeah. I was a dope plug, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Methamphetamine. You know, I got it in fire extinguishers. I cut the shit open. I fucking cut it myself. I made you did a it lot on. of money off it. I did my shit, and, but I got, when I got out of prison that last night, I said, I'm good, man. I'm not doing this shit no more. Well, good for you. Yeah, and then I just got into other shit, got business loan, worked my credit. I got a, you know, I got No, a you're seven, doing amazing. I got a 740 credit score now. I can get whatever I want. And it's like a dream now, you know? Yeah. So I'm already so focused on just positive shit that that's where I'm staying at now. You know what I'm saying? Well, good for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what was the f worst thing you did in fucking prison, fool? Because you rushed this I shit. I fools. I smashed fools out. I got into it on the f yard. Right you hooped there some there. shit? I did. I've hooped shit. I've hooped shit. Hey, check it out. True well, story. I went to... So I get out of prison, and I don't know if you guys read this, but I caught a f case. I had to go to Glen Helen. I had to do a... It was like eight months. Yeah, well, it was the first time ever getting county time. And me, my girl, the, my, my best friend, fucking bagged up tobacco. We dope. I went jacked. Deep. I went strapped. And right when I got there, I ran into a hop. I caught the fade. It was a long ass story. We caught the fade with that shit in my ass. And then, boom, after that, I ended up sewing up the tank. I was pushing dope out of it. It got, it got crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I always try to figure out how to make money where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. So tell, oh, yeah, so tell yeah. me, um, oh. did you used to have cell phones while you were incarcerated? Um, my Sally had a cell phone, so that's how I had action this last time. But that was like the only time I ever really had a chance. You know? Well, because prior to that, they didn't really, oh, no. they didn't have cell phones. No love. Phones. All the time was always slow. You just slam down. You know, it wasn't no, love. it wasn't all fun and shit. So you didn't really all do much. All these fools that hit dorms and shit, I think they lived a different. Prison life thing, cause my my living was always cell living, straight up. I did cell living always. Always. So I never. So it was definitely got, really chill and calmer. It was calm. Yes, I had a lot of. I've had you a lot read. Of you wrote. I, I read. And I wrote and I drew and I tattooed too. Oh fuck! So yeah. you're an artist. So I started my my when I started my page, the Doughboy page. People don't know this. I was still in prison, using my Sally's phone, and I made up that name Doughboy now and I have true facts. And I was tattooing on him and everything, you know? And then, you know, he let me use the phone whenever I want because I was fucking blessing bless him. Yeah. He on his back. And uh, he was tatting me, too. He you drew the, the little guy? I, my, my page was actually a tattoo page. That's what I'm getting to. No, I'm saying you drew your own little no. guy? I was going to say, I fool. faced somebody. I was going to say. Um, so I... So with, um, the phone... Oh, yeah, so the whole phone thing. So, um... We're tattooing each other, and uh, I forgot what I was getting to the whole point of that. I heard you were the plug for the phones. Oh, no, nah, don't be playing, playing with that. Nah. I, didn't, I didn't move nothing to the prison system <laughs> at all. I was a good boy. Oh, good. <laughs> the first. I was good. <laughs> sure he on, was. That, that, that. He's actually holding back a lot, guys. Yeah. I was a good guy, man. So you didn't do much, you didn't see nothing crazy? I always, you know, I took that, a, Like, I the guy like, shooting was the worst. I took a lot of risks, even in the system. Between me and you, but I'm not going to say exactly what I did, but yeah, I did yeah. take risks, you know. And you have to. I'm blessed to be here because I could have did a lot of time for the shit that I did. And even yeah. Well, and because you had, to, you had to. It was your. It was either do, taking the risk or you not yeah. surviving. But I had to support my family from in there, too. I had to figure out a way because I didn't like and the, how bad everybody was doing, you know. Yeah. I'm a blessing to my whole family, all my friends. Cause you mean I, you're. I'm one of the homies. I'm saying to literally to literally to my homies, my friends, my family. 
I'm the blessing because I put I fucking help a lot of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I'm one of the people like in our circle that made it that could like do some shit for each other. You know? Yes, of give course. Give you a loan, buy you a car, give you a you know, help you move in your spot. Like, you know, I helped everybody do everything. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot. Yes. So anybody that, you know, in my personal circle, I you know, they know they could depend on me. So, you know. And I'm like that because all the time that I did in the system, I'm not gonna lie to you, they took care of me. I asked for plenty of favors. My calls never got rejected. I got fools who were like, damn, fool, you're lucky to have homies like that. My homies are becoming fighter put just how they do it for the homies now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We've always been a tight group like that where we don't play with like fuck there ain't no fake friends. That's why we're not there's not a lot of us, but you know, it's also like it's just it's a lot of loyalty involved where it's a deeper brotherhood. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I always had that with my brothers, even my and then I don't really got family that looked out for me. It was just my mom. Um, that's all I got, you know what I'm saying? That's all you have. My brothers are, you know, I had to help them. You know what I'm saying? I made it to help them in the end. I helped my mom, you know what I'm saying? I yes. did everything for everybody. That's what it comes down You're to. You're the so. man of the house. I'm the man, yeah, so at the house. So anyways, um, yeah, so I, I, and I'm glad. That's why I don't regret no time in the system. It made me a man. It made me the man who I am now. I'm not embarrassed about it. I don't give a you know what I'm saying? That's right. But I'm a businessman. I don't glorify it. That's not me no more. Straight up. I'm yes. a businessman. Straight yes. up. I'm a businessman now. I like doing music. I'm an artist, you know, but I, straight up, I'm a businessman over everything. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. I make, All I care about is money. That's what matters. Because you do have a story. I want my kids to be good when I'm gone. I want my brothers and I, my, you know what I'm saying, everybody close to me to be good when I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to help everybody in the end. You know what I'm saying? So you so, have a store. You what? What do you have going on? So I got on? the. I got both of my stores. I got a trucking business, and then like I just do a bunch of other little shit on the side. Nice. You know, but those are like my my main like on paper and legit income sources. You know what I'm saying? Good. Good for you. So yeah. So, but did, and did I plan you, on doing more shit. I got you know. So you make spreads in there? I make spreads at home. Yo, you, so you still I make, make spreads? Bomb ass spreads. My girl makes me, me make a spread, make a spread. I go okay. I make <laughs> fire me, ass ones. The spreads I see, uh, what like what I use, yeah. how I do it. You want to hear a little? Yeah. Okay. Go. So say if I use three soups, I use one and a half chili packet. That's for one. I don't do all the sodium. Okay. Yeah. I throw Fritos. I do. I do. I'll do fr uh, chili cheese Fritos. Now I'll do pork rinds. Mm -hmm. I'll do um, um, I'll do pork rinds. I'll do um. Hot Cheetos, a little bit of hot Cheetos. I'll do light pickle. I'll cut up like a half of a summer sausage. I'll cook my summer sausage in my beans. The beans got to be refried with mm. a, in a package. I make it right, you know what I'm saying? My shit is not all fucking super dry, but it's like a nice moist. It got that smell. People just, I see people do crackers, all kinds of dumb shit in it. No, yeah, that ain't no how I you don't make. like it like nah, that. Nah, dog, there's a real prison way to make it. Just how the you, way I've been making it my whole life, you know? How you said it is how I like mine. Yeah, that's right. So I do that and then when i'm done see my lady she never we don't i'm not even in the mayonnaise okay but you have to put mayonnaise you got to put the little layer of mayonnaise on the you top i even do to. a little bit of a baby squeeze cheese and i even do that sometimes I put the squeeze cheese in it with the beans yeah i, don't like yeah, the I cheese. usually cook the squeeze cheese in my beans with my meat in it yeah that's how i really do it at the end after i shake my fucking chips and everything up and my and my seasoning then i throw the beans in last yeah boom 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 boom, boom. then i pull it out then i usually put the little mayonnaise up yeah like it has a, to have mayo Addicted. I, uh, it's so that's why she sprung for the spread. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, damn, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're yeah. a boss. You know how to make bomb ass spreads. <laughs> Hell yeah. And you make some bomb ass sopitas. Uh -huh. So anybody I take to my condo in LA, I make sure I make them a spread. <laughs> <laughs> Did you used to you uh, drink no white lightning? No, uh, nope. I never drink in there. Oh, you didn't drink in I there. I did not drink in there. Everybody always made Pruno around me. Everybody's made drink around me. Sally made uh, Pruno and sold it. He hustled it, and but nope, not me. Never. Nope, never. Wow. Yeah, that's... I was more of I was more uh, on the drugs. <laughs> that's what okay. I okay. No, I'm be real. No, no, no. You know I, was I get more it. On the drugs. You're okay. gonna get that here on indicted. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. I was on the drugs. Yes, I did my shit in there. So you know. So. I get not it. Not proud of it. I mean, yeah, I'm actually embarrassed, but you know, but it is what it is. I'm gonna be real with you guys. No, you guys yeah, want to hear the real it. dope boy, so I'm gonna be real. Yeah, I appreciate it. You know, I'm not yeah. gonna give you no fake Hollywood shit. We we talking real shit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. No I drinking did. for you in there. You just no did. drinking. I did around when it came around. You know, yeah. A little bump here and there, whatever. But yeah. You know what I'm saying? I always did my I did work out. You know, that's just mandatory. So I always stood on my fish shit. Till this day, I'm on my fish shit. I still do routine right now. You have to every. You stay in your program. I don't play. I do I do routine every. I do like four or five days out the week. But my boys even know, like, dance, we don't play, be honest with you, because I try to hype everybody. Come to the gym, come to the gym. 
And it makes you feel better. It feels way like, better on my mind. Your clearer. mind. But I've been working out since the hall, so I've, it's just part of my life. Yeah. I went. I got sent to Heart Bar. I skipped that part of my juvenile life, but I Tell got us. sent to a group. I mean, a a a, um, a boot camp called Heart Bar. Heart Bar. And it was it's it's in Fonskin. I don't know if it's there no more. Where but the I made is, first Where is place, that at? It's in Big Bear. Ah. It's right, it's east of the Dino into Redlands into the mountains. You go up the mountain. Oh, because it's like that side. And it's a yeah. and it's a um it's called Heart Bar. H E A R T, and there was I, all the I mean all the staff they're like in marine gear. His name was Mr. Calica. Shout out to Mr. Calica. He would call me, come here, Rodriguez. He call me, and I go to. He go, you got something special, kid. I'd be like tearing up like a father, you know, like a father. Aww. Yeah, like I was a kid, you know, and I yeah. be like, you don't belong here. Get your life together. Get out of here. Get out of here. Like tell me. And but I remember listen. that staff, Mr. Calica. Good ass staff. And we thing. never listen, huh? Yep. And I another juvenile hall staff that I want to, cause you might see this video, Mr. Johnson. He used to sing in the juvenile hall to us. He was cool. Yeah, there was a lot. Mr. Never Lucky got from Unit 7. You never like, got mistreated know. then, huh? No, I never got me. I was actually favored. Everybody knew me. All the staff knew me. Roger, let Roger, I'd be out the cell sweeping. <laughs> I see you always got in your way. Hey, hey pass this full pass. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You've always got in your way. Yeah, man. I was You've just that always way been that way. I've always been that way. I've been, yeah, I've been blessed. Yes, been blessed you, you are. You know, but I'm good at people. People can read me, and that's, I think I got good vibes. That's why I'm a real motherfucker. Yeah. I don't, I'm not tight to sneak you. You know, I don't yeah. do that. I've never really had a sneak in my whole career. Hey, he did this behind my back, or he stole from it. I don't yeah. do shit like that. No, yeah. Never. I've never risked it. I robbed stores. I did drugs, yes, but I've never snaked a person in my life. Yeah. Because it Don't always get me wrong, back. I robbed other innocent people, but nobody that was like my type of people. <laughs> <laughs> the other people. I, <laughs> I understand did. what you no, mean. No, you know, like yeah. the girl I grew around, I grew up, you know, you know how we grow up, it's a different, you know, it's different, you know, so. Yeah, so, yeah, that's everything. That's all your prison time. That's all my prison time. All yo. your crazy experiences. I've been out now. I'm out. I'm but out. But what is the craziest thing? Now I'm like fucking biting by the rules. I'm like trying not to get in. I'm on, I'm on, so I just caught a recent case. I was supposed to go back right now. Okay, well, tell us. <sighs> So they hit one of my raid right one of my personal business spots. There's a gun, two guns in there. So I get charged for the guns recently. I'm called the same. And hey, this lawyer. is prior to you getting shot or after? Was this after fool? I don't even know. My memory's all fucking. I think shot this is out. before. People don't. Was it before Gana? It was before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was before. It was before. What did I? What were we talking about right now? With you that your new case is oh, that this new okay, case. Okay, the last case I just caught. Yeah, yeah. it was before you got shot. So I just got got a recent case right before I got shot. And I just fought a long ass case for like two years. Yes, it was before. Right? I I'm remember. not gonna lie. That's how you guys know. Like I said, I've done. Well, lot. we know you. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. We know hey. you. We you. I've been in your life. You've been in our lives no. for a few years already. You know. Like, yeah. That's so, crazy. So yeah. So yeah. So, um, I caught it. One of my spots got raided. Uh, who I don't know why. You know, somebody probably said some dumb shit. I hate yeah. him, like always trying to see a nigga go back. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? But, even though because you're doing so well. You know, so I'm doing so well, doing my shit what I'm supposed to do, honestly, taking care of my kids, fucking paying my bills. And I'm just trying to live. I'm being yeah. inside, I'm not robbing no more, that's for sure. Yeah. Cops pull up, hit the spot, hit my spot, one of my stores, and pull me out. And anyways, there's two guns in there. I end up fighting the case. I got charged for one of the guns, and um, I had to pay a lot of. I was, I was just about to say that. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're you're definitely super I got, blessed. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. To... No, no, I done so much time that it was like, like straight up. I was like, there's no way I could go back right now. It's so scary. I was like, I got. I told my lawyer, Kirk. Kirk, shout out to Kirk Tarman and Rancho Cucamonga. You guys need him. That's a real lawyer you want to fuck with. I mean, shout out to Nicholas too, but <laughs> <laughs> that's my dog. But fuck. Yeah, no, last month he was my sponsor. Yeah, I don't know. If you look he didn't get a shout out this years, month. You want one of, yeah. <laughs> nah, he didn't get a shout out this hey, month. Shout last out month to... he did. <laughs> I'm dead. Hey, so look at. <laughs> shout out to both to the lawyers doing their shit in general, man. Nah, they're hey. working. You know, they work hard. They're hardworking men. You know. Hey, um, that was a good one. I'm gonna need that clip full for Instagram. Hey. <laughs> Hey, so I got the case, nigga. I caught a fucking case. They hit the spot. Fucking find two guns. Yeah, and now you're like I'm back fuck. in the situation. I've been in for ten years. But now you're different. Now I'm a grown man. I got busy. I'm like, there's no way I could play this out like usually. Just go to jail and do the time. No, no. You got so much How to much? lose. I don't want to say they didn't close them out, but I paid a lot of money. I, I'm free, but I'm on all kinds of shit right now. You know. Yeah, I know. It wasn't an easy thing. I don't want to tell people what I signed because you guys are probably, all you haters in the city will probably call my name in. But I signed some shit that's like, you know, 
You're dumb. Type of shit. <laughs> you should have just did the time. <laughs> okay, but oh, anyway. scary ass. Hey, no, serio, like, yo. No, you know what? It just hits look different at, when you're older. At, I'm going to be honest with you. I make a month off of my stores. There's no way I could be in there and manage my stores. No. Sorry, I got to pay. I got no choice now. Well, no. Plus, I, mean, I don't want to see you ugly no, but you know what? It's just Stewie, like, now you're just you're just blessed. That was a good one, up. To have the money. <laughs> I don't want to wake up to see you ugly there asking for a piece of spread all the time. Come on, no. You. You're, now you're just different, food. Like nah, now I'm you down, just, I go out, like now you I just know kids, like I got you kids, just I got support. They got they wonder when dad's coming home. Straight up, that's what it comes down to. Plus all the businesses. There's no way I could risk it. So I think thank God I did. I'm here and I'm thinking like that. Because if I was thinking for the homies, the streets. Run it, run it, you know. Like I don't give a fuck, but nah, nah, nah. I put Homie, my pride I don't give down. a fuck. My brake. How's the song go? I put my brake. <laughs> Which one? I don't hey, give a. F- I don't give. A f- <laughs> I could have just did that. I don't I, give a. F- on them. No, but, but nah, you do I give. Want, you I do did care. that a long time. I you do, do care. care. I care very deeply. So we're gonna have to do a remix of that. I do give. A f- yeah. <laughs> nah, but no, nah, no, nah, real shit though. Yeah. Um. So. Yep. Life is good. Life thank is God. Good and, you and, and you and definitely it, you know, had a messed up up growing. You were. I mean, you did it to yourself, kind of. I did it myself. You know? oh, 100%. I'm not one of those kids. It wasn't my... Now it's poor. No, I don't give a fuck. I could have still did things right. Yeah. And my message to all the kids out there, do shit right. Listen to your parents. Stay your ass home. Don't leave the crib, bro. Stay your ass home. Do your work. If you don't got nothing to do, clean the house. Do what you got to do. Because it ain't nothing fun being locked up with a bunch of grown men and losing your life and not being able to be with your brothers, your sisters, your mom, and your dad at night. That's when you're going to regret yeah. it. And think about it. It takes you to do time to know these things yeah. and feel that way. It's nothing fun. And I don't it's give not a- everybody. It's not. I don't give a- I nobody for nobody. Just some of us know how to deal with it different. Exactly. You know, like, you know, I could go to a cell and within a minute I could be reading a book. And just anybody got a book, I ask everybody around. I'm not shy. Get me a book and start reading and because, fuck the world. Because we know how we to. We know how to do time. But uh, other person, I've seen people. I'm dying. I'm fucking, yeah. <laughs> tell me about the people you've seen. Go. Tell me. It's when not I funny. This last Guys, we're, we're not making fun of people. We're yeah, just telling, sharing stories when and they're funny. When I got locked up this last, when I uh, caught this last case, I got locked up. Tell me. Now, of course, they didn't just let me walk away for two guns. They're, hey, you're fucking so-and-so. And, fool, you've been in prison three times. You gone, right? With the strength. They don't give up. Ain't nothing to say. I don't even got nothing. What do you got to say? I don't got shit to say. We'll talk about this shit. Matter of fact, I'll be bailed out. I'll go explain this to my lawyer. I don't got to say shit to say to you guys. Yes. I had a different my thought. My lady already knew too. Like, hey, you, you know what to do. I don't no, know she knows. So I fucking. That's boom, my girl. Boom. She goes through Aladdin bail bonds, bails my ass the fuck out. I was in there for. Aladdin, fucking. that's the one that's across the street from the tower. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's funny. I'm not gonna front. Get this shit. Only on indicted TV. We're gonna hear here. <laughs> go. Get ready to laugh, Go. Hey, get me the fuck out of here. Hurry the fuck up. Hey, an hour later. Hey, did you go yet? Did you go? Oh, you're one of those annoying ass. Hurry the fuck up. This bitch is annoying. Oh, pick it up. Hey, I gotta use the phone. Okay, hurry up. Hurry no, up. but you know what? She's hey, good. Phone. Yeah, fuck, get the phone. I gotta use this shit. She's good. Yeah, but she's. You're out. Shut the up. Don't call me no more. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> you bitch. Fuck up. <laughs> So she bailed you out right yeah, away. So she bailed me out right away. Boom, get out and fucking. But anyways, I would, there's a reason what I was gonna tell you. Right now. Oh no! Oh, so, the funny story. So I got <sighs> motherfuckers in the um. So we're right there. We haven't even made it to like the unit yet, and you got motherfuckers in suicide watch already all around. I'm seeing these fools in the. Like, what are these dumb motherfuckers doing? Hey, me out. I'm seeing the bitches. Ah, and I'm like, what the going on here? The cops talking shit, laughing at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, it's intense. I've seen Honestly, it. processing is intense. Yeah, processing is it's very probably, intense. It's probably it's probably the most intense time of your time. Mm-hmm. Just those 24 no, 48 serio, hours. I'm gonna tell you the most it's gonna be process it's gonna be processing and R and R if you really know the game. R and R. You go to yeah. prison, you hit R and R, you in there for some time. Yes. Straight up. Yes. It's gonna be intake in the county, getting arrested, sitting there. Out for the people and lay uh, out, wondering where you need you're going and all that little shit. And everybody's like asking. Oh, everybody's asking. Everybody's asking. Fucking. Every, and then you know, I, I, hey, back to the asking. I want to go to the court part. <laughs> we hear these jailhouse lawyers. <laughs> I just signed three and a half without a tail. Fucking ties. Shut the fuck up, motherfucker. No, everybody's like. You want to take that deal? You want to take? Forget the fuck out of my face. No, everybody knows. <laughs> everybody knows. Like literally, everybody. I fought cases, so I really sat in the county sitting there no, you know people everybody knows hey how long do you think this is my case what do you think is gonna hey, happen i'm not lying i'm one of the fools that turned into a 
<laughs> Joe Osborne did. I believe hey, it. I did so much time. Ooh, hey, what do you think? I'm going to be real chill. Have you been here before? No. You're getting the fuck out. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Just shit the fuck up. Go to sleep. Yeah. Go to sleep. You used to sleep during intake? I sleep. Uh, no, I'm not one of the sleepers. I can't Neither. sleep. I'm, I'm not either. <laughs> I'm I'm the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way. People, you know, you know, going into some other shit. I got a son right now. I tell him, fool, you don't know how it feels. You just will never understand to be in a locked in a room, bro. And to, all your freedom took him from you. It's not a game, bro. It's not nothing to go by. It is it is it is depressing. It is embarrassing. It is every bad thing. There's nothing good about it. Straight up. I'm a regular person. I, I'm straight from the hood. I grew up in the ghetto. I stole. I did it. And I don't give a f That don't make me feel like I'm going to be, I will never get, even though I know how to do time, it's something I can never love. I don't want to be in there. You know no, what I'm saying? definitely not. Like straight up and, and it, it's just very, it's, it's not cool. It's just the worst place to be in that little square. And you know what I'm saying? It's glorified out here. Because don't get me wrong, I see homies happy in there sometimes. What's up, fool? I mean, I'll be right there too when I see homies that I haven't seen. Man, I, it made me happy. Yeah. Oh, I'm not alone. Yeah. Cool. It would make me go my time going. But some are like, hey, fool, you too fucking happy. But you know what? Think that like, one of them folks, like, hey, do you think it's a difference? Like, for example, there are lifers that have been in there since they're 17, 16, yeah, I had, I had, and they're like already 40, you know, 50 years that, old. You know what I'm saying? When I was in Calipat, my Sally was a lifer. I had about six lifers, Sally lifers. One of my lifers, one of my closest boys, his name is Jason Mooney. I shot him out in the song that your husband shot at me. His name is Jason He's from the flats. He had like 165 years. I think he's on the other side now, what I heard. But long story short... That fool was very active, homie. He taught me a lot. That was my boy. I was a kid. That was my Sally. He like was raising me in there, like, you know, like we played chess all day. That was my boy. Yeah. My other Sally was a fool named Tedco Smiley. He was an AN. I always saw that with fools from my area. I never saw that with fools from Los Angeles, San Diego. If you're from the hood, you're from the Dino, the IE, I would sell that with you. You know what I'm saying? Wait, and you were... How do you know? Yeah. Because when I would walk in, I look at their doors and on the fucking trays, under the trays that you get the sandwich boxes, everybody draws like an LA, wherever they're from. So when I see the eye, like, you know, I'm like, it's ah, Mikey from, you know, yeah. uh, whoa, whoa. So, yeah. you know, so, and, you know, but I would always sell it with foods from my area. So do I had you feel a lot. like you, you could relate more? Of course. Like you were going to, hey, fool, hey, I used to go to Highland. Hey, fool, you go to that fucking donut shop too? Yeah. Hey, I, I fucked that bitch. I'm fucking it. Uh, <laughs> you know, all the time. I that bitch too you're a liar about the oh, no. hey, yeah so you know you don't know the fucking talk that you have in your yeah, cell yeah 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 so i had sally's a hey, shout out to all my sally's michael Cal i mean i can't name them all i had a gang of sally's if i miss you spencer but shady will look at shout out to my sally little limp she's from ontario that fool's a solid little homie when i was going to the uh youth authority evaluation he was telling me hey he was telling me rules he was like hey carnal he's like watch out when you drop your spoon that's level of status he was lacing me up and he was a no said you i was like i was like 16 probably he was like 15. oh he was already up his on name, game his name's little limps that's a good ass little homie that fool took a gang of i ain't gonna talk like, to him you can't even like get but long story short with the, with the long bottom story of short negra, yeah, hell no nah. Hell no. Nah. I, I did I went by the Y rules. I did that. You know, I was in Bloomfield. Like I said, I was in Norwalk. You know, I did all that shit too. So but anyways, long story short. So you never got dicked up? My Sally what'd you say? <laughs> don't play me like that, man. That's what it's called. Hey, don't let your wife just like that. <laughs> Come on, That's bro. what it's called. <laughs> That's what it's I'm called. It's called. That's what it's called. Dicked up. Like if you touch your bottom of your foot touches yeah, your did, clothes. Right, yeah. Being a crybaby like these rapper ass fools, you know. And I'm would you? I know. Hey, look at. I just want to do a little good scene for you guys real quick. Hey, um. <laughs> shout out to my Sally, my little limbs. Shout out to my Sally. Um. Shout out to my Sally tunes from the counts. I got a gang of good ass homies out there. Uh, my boy Trooper from Northside Redlands, uh, Stranger from Vario Redlands, uh, Active from 7th Street. You know who you are. You know what I'm saying? I got a gang of homies. You know what I'm saying? So, but um, long story short, oh, Smiley, that was my Sally and Calipat. Um, yeah, so just a gang of homies. You know what I'm saying? I did, you know, you grow relationships and deep with these people. Yeah. Living you, with them. Yeah, and, for years. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that for years. And, you know, so... Those are like the closest fools I got real close to. Jason, especially shout out to him. 
But um, yeah. So, so you're definitely it. you're definitely in a better place now for sure. Definitely, I've been a, yeah yeah. And you're definitely staying out of the radar. Yeah. Because you don't want to go back. Yeah. You can't tell. Look at the way I dress and look. I don't look like a homie no more. I'm real low key. I feel like Daniel. you do. I feel like you look like a member because these days these young guys don't look like cholos. They look like yeah yeah yeah. You no don't no, no Sadio. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's true though. No, it's definitely I was true. Did you do? Did you fish? I fished. Oh, hell yeah, I fished out of cell. I well, used to every, fish all the time. Every prison is different. Does every prison fish different? Oh, down like this. Get a, a tattoo. I can make you a tattoo gun right here. Yeah, I really did the whole prison thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I could, you know, I could make a stinger. I could boil you a hot pot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I could do everything. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we should do like a little. Uh, we could do some shit one day. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I'll do it for you. I know how to straighten out a needle. I know how to create a needle from a pin. I could um, do a lot of prison things. You get what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. This is one I'm going to shock everybody with. Watch this one. I don't know how to do what the bicep do when they make your fucking crosses with the cards. I can't do that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I know can't you. make you a jewelry and a flex with <laughs> cards. I can't do that. But Doughboy could tattoo you. I could make you a needle. I could make you a spread. Yeah. I'll show you a good time, dog. You know what I'm saying? I could, yeah. I could take you down a little lane. I know. You know what I'm okay. saying? I'll blast you up. I'll blast the gang of homies up. Fucking, and when I got out of prison, I blasted a gang of my homies up. You know I right? never thought you would be like Nobody an artist. Nobody knows that tattoo. That's what everybody gets. And that's where it's official. He's a state baby. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. No, he's a state baby. This food tattoos. He's for sure a state baby. Yeah. He obviously, he had enough time to sit there and learn how to do everything. No, for sure. So it ain't just one little 16-month what half term these little boys are doing. No, no. Not, I've like, done time. Yeah. I've done time. How much time did you do in total? Uh, 15, 12 years, 13 years at least, 14 years. Sadio. No, I Sadio. I 14, even... like, not exaggerating about it. For, 14 to 15 years. 14 to 16 years I've done in my life. Yeah. Because I've only felt free for seven years at one time and now. And it's only yeah. been three years now. Yeah. That's how I know. Living. Getting older. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So. But I'll you're living your best way. life, though. But you're living your best life. So if you life. diss me on rap, no, you dissing a real I'm going to come full force. Yeah. I'm not going to play with you. And I'm not going to diss you on rap. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a lot of my uh, whole time. I'm trying to think if I missed anything with you, nigga, so you get it documented. Um, yeah, that's it. Is there anything else you would want to share before we close this? Um, as far as, uh, well, my career, not nothing like, oh, I got albums dropping, yes. Uh, look out for Back, Back from the Dead. Seven song EP. I got Phoenix flexing. Shout out to my brother YB in the mirror. You know, I've entered a whole nother realm in this music shit right now. Straight up. And I do music on a serious level. So I got to make real songs. Sorry, homies. I love all my homies. I got homies. I'm an essay. Yes, I'm a South Sider. I'm active. I'm with the business. Don't fucking come up to me and question me. But because if I'm busting time, I say I'm doing something to black. I know my side's going to tell me that's right, Carl. You're doing it right. Straight up. I'm going to respect me, the people that know me. Um, if you because you're yourself. Because I'm myself. I don't. Don't get me wrong. You guys might hear. And this for a record. You guys might hear me say, "Oh, the old boy says nigga." I'm an essay. I'll come at you. What's up, essay? Where you from? I could do all that shit too. And you speak Spanish. Because I am a homie. I'm yeah. a homie. But you know, it is what it is. But either way, um, shout out to all the homies. Shout out to all my brothers. Shout out to the agents. Everybody that's doing their time. Everybody that I've been busted with. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing to be here with you. Shout out to you, Negra. No, shout out to you. You're Thank doing you. your shit, Negra. Shout out to Indicted TV. Shout out to my brother, LA Icon. Shout out to the full community. Shout out to Latin Beach TV. You know, all my videos, my first videos hit a million views on Latin Beach TV. So Latin Beach. He, gives me, he, he shows love. Shout out to all my brothers from the Glock Stars. All my brothers. I love them dearly. They know I got them to the, you know what I'm saying, to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm out. Doughboy, I'm out. Thank you for coming on Indicted TV. My dog. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram.